Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Berlakis presenting case 223 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case in which the reverse guide wire technique was used after a previous failed attempt. The target vessel was an LED. It was previously attempted at a different institution and was not successful. The wire could not be crossed into that area. Looking at the characteristics of the occlusion, there may be some trickle of flow actually through that uh, proximal cap. There is a bifurcation of the proximal cap. The distance, the length of the occlusion is very short. Distal vessel is relatively poorly visualized and fills via septal collaterals. Interestingly enough, here the guide wire, the safety guide wire in the donor vessel is in a very small branch. Very important to realize this on time and reposition the guide wire, it was done here, to prevent any distal vessel perforation. So we have a clear proximal cap, but there is significant angulation. The occlusion length is short. The distal vessel seems to be good quality, and there are septal collaterals. So our plan here for canalizing the LED was to use the reversed guide wire technique, and we'll go over this in a second. If that didn't work, put an IVUS into the diagonal and use that to guide wiring. And if that didn't work, go for retrograde. Um, Undegraded sexual reentry was not considered a good approach because of the large diagonal that could be compromised if uh, extra plug crossing was performed. And this is an illustration of the reverse guide wire technique. We take a polymer jacketed wire and then we create two bends a distal bend and then a bend more proximal, about three centimeters from the tip in the opposite direction than the original small band. And this is more often done using a dual lumen microcatheter. And the reason for using that is to allow delivery of that knuckled wire all the way into the target vessel. So small band, big band, and then uh, the guide wire is advanced with a knuckle facing forward. And then what happens is we get the dual lumen microcaster. The knuckle can also be formed in another vessel if um, it hasn't been formed before, but most of the time we form the knuckle before. We advance the dual lumen microcaster along with the knuckle, proximal to the vessel we want to wire, which is this branch in this figure. And then we pull back the dual lumen microcatheter. So what is left into the vessel is this knuckled guide wire. And this is what was done in our case. We did use a Sasuki and a CO Black guide wire. Here is the Sasuki that is being advanced over the diagonal guide wire in the diagonal. And then once we get the Sasuki in the diagonal, we then are able to advance the knuckled CO Black all the way into the diagonal branch. The next step is to pull the wire back, aiming for the distal bend towards the vessel we want to wire. And as we pull back, we can see that uh, that uh, bend wire can start engaging the target vessel. And as we keep on pulling, we can wire that uh, vessel. And this is what happened. And it was not easy. You can see here multiple attempts. We have pulled the Sasuki dual microcatheter proximal to the branch we want to wire, which is the middle AD. We're pulling it back, it engages different branches, it's not working here, we're rotating, and then eventually we see here it catches the LED, and as we're pulling, it uh, uh, unfolds and gets into the LED. So again, this um, shows that we need big movements. We rotate the guide wire in different directions. The guide wire might go into other branches, but then as we keep on pulling, and rotating, eventually the guide wire here turns towards the origin of the middle AD at the site of the occlusion, and as we keep on pulling, the polymer jacket wire just advances down the LED. And of course, like every CTO, the next step, once we think we are through, is to do a contralateral injection to confirm. In this case, the visualization is poor, but we're advancing the guide wire and it goes easily and it advances along the course of the vessel. And this is another tip, which is to advance the guide wire once you do the contralateral injection to see if it courses within the vessel that you are trying to wire. 
the next step is to get a single lumen microcatheter or even dual lumen and exchange this wire for a workhorse wire, and this is what was done in our case, followed by stent implantation. And this is the final result. After stents, there is some residual disease distal to the stent. So we did uh, intravascular ultrasound just to confirm that things are okay. We see that there's some diffuse disease distally, there's some plaque. Um, and then as we keep on pulling, here is the stand, and the stand seems to be well expanded, well opposed. And uh, as we come back to the left main, overall we do have um, um, a good result. There is no significant issues inside the stand. So, the summary here is that the reversed guide wire technique can be extremely useful for wiring through tortuosity and angulation. How to do the reversed guide wire technique? Use a polymer jacketed wire, C on black or field RFC are commonly used. We typically use a non-taper, soft, polymer jacketed wire. Also, to deliver that knuckle, it is best to use a dual lumen microcatheter like the Twin Pass or the Sasuki. And then we deliver the knuckled wire distal to the origin of the vessel we want to wire. And then we keep on withdrawing the wire. And it may take a few attempts, as was in our case. So we pull back and rotate until the tip of the guide wire catches the branch we want to wire. And as we keep on pulling, that wire actually keeps on going in the direction of the vessel. Thank you.